North Carolina's Republican candidate, Mark Robinson, has endorsed literal violence. Uh, now, this is during a June 30th speech in a church in White Lake, North Carolina. Robinson had told the crowd, quote, some folks need killing. It's time for somebody to say it. It's not a matter of vengeance. It's not a matter of being mean or spiteful. It's a matter of necessity. Now, remember, this guy claims to be a religious, uh, Christian nationalism, whatever. Uh, uh, what, 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 what's one of the uh, Bible uh, commandments? Um, uh, thou shalt not kill. Uh, but hey, uh, apparently, he's going to completely ignore that one uh, and say, oh, well, well, some folks need killing. Mm. So who is he talking about, first off? Well, according to the New Republic's Greg Sargent, those who need killing, according to Robinson, include wicked people, um, as well as socialists and communists. Ah, yeah, oh, okay, yes, um, there you go. Pink-haired communists. That's it, that's it. Um, I'm not, hey, look, I, I'm not being mean or spiteful, uh, but if you think that workers should own the means of production, then uh, you need to be killed. That, that's literally what he's saying right there. I mean, wow. But hey, uh, I suppose we should take comfort in the fact that uh, he's not being mean or spiteful. This is a necessity. Uh, who talks like this? Who says this? This kind of guy. Now, who else is wicked, according to this uh, insane person? Uh, well, the LGBTQ community, uh, he has likened gay uh, homosexuality to pedophilia. That's not the same thing. Uh, and of course, uh, hates trans women. Of course, of course. How can he not see that he is being the wicked one here? <laughs> I mean, calling for the deaths of people who believe differently than you and are just trying to live their lives? Wicked. That guy is wicked. That guy is evil. And he just doesn't see it. Uh, now, in addition to these statements, Robinson did some hol Holocaust denial, of course. Said women shouldn't have been given the right to vote, of course. Uh, and endorsed a birther conspiracy uh, about the uh, former president. Obama, of course, uh, as well as the conspiracy theory that I've seen for a long time now uh, that uh, yeah, uh, former first lady Michelle Obama is actually a man. I mean, it's ridiculous, right? Um, and of course, posted memes mocking and denying the brutal and violent assault uh, that happened uh, and Nancy Pelosi's husband, Paul Pelosi. So, again, now again the, the guy who attacked Paul Pelosi is like, yeah, I was waiting for Nancy. He admitted it. And admitted everything. Uh, and, and yet, whatever, right? This guy checks off all the disgusting, violent MAGA boxes. Now, Sargent adds, his latest reign is another example of yet an ugly game um, widely played in the MAGA right. One super charged by Donald Trump. It entails hinting that right-wing political violence is necessary and justified because a ubiquitous, all-seeing, all-powerful leftist threat. So, look, there are uh, about a third of Republicans that are open to violence. They're saying, yes, uh, we may need to use violence to take our country back. Wow. Um, now, Sargent adds, one that is pure invention is already supposedly attacking and persecuting conservatives on a mass scale. Now, I, I love this idea of the uh, all-powerful leftist threat, because it's so comically absurd, okay? If there was this all-powerful leftist, uh, you know, takeover, cabal, whatever, you know what we would have? Freaking healthcare, <laughs> okay? Everybody would have healthcare. <laughs> That's it. Uh, they'd have healthcare. Uh, workers would have higher wages. <laughs> we would have taxes, higher taxes than the rich. That, that would be the great leftist takeover, the result of that. People would actually be able to live healthier, longer, and more fulfilling lives that isn't just all about, you know, working 70 hours a week for so that your boss can afford another yacht. That That's the reality of what a leftist takeover would look like. And of course, the people that would be taxed more, that would be affected by this the most, super, super rich people, you know, they're like, oh, you don't understand. This is worse than the gulags. <laughs> what? No. Um, again, and here, here's the other thing, right? And why it's so absurd. And the left has zero institutional power. We don't. We, 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 can't even, we can't even agree on how to get institutional power, much less keep it, okay? Uh, and, and use it. 
Okay. Um, this idea that Joe Biden is representative of the left, that he's like a Marxist or secret, not even secret Marxist, but like open Marxist communist is absolutely hilarious. Okay. There's just not an ounce of, you know, factual reality into it. Um, and, and, and speaking of, you know, how the left feels about Joe Biden, leftists hate Joe Biden probably more than MAGA does. <laughs> okay. I mean, and, and, and of course, for completely legitimate reasons instead of made up ones. The ones that uh, MAGA has, of course, uh, made up because they make up everything. And speaking of that, that's what they do. They make things up all the time. And they do so in order to cast themselves as uh, being victims, right? The best example here that I can use, that I can think of, is cancel culture. Remember that? Remember the cancel culture? Oh, every right-wing comedian was like, oh my god, I've been canceled. I've been canceled by the woke left. The, yes, the, the woke they, they have come for me and they have taken everything from me. And now go watch my 14 specials on Netflix. Uh, after getting paid millions and millions of dollars to make them. That's that's the reality, <laughs> okay? It's a grift as old as time. That said, this guy, it, this is more dangerous than just the grift, okay? Um, the grift is one thing, you know, you're making money by you know, just for lying and making things up. But this guy's actually advocating for violence. Uh, and they have done so well. The right has done so well at creating this leftist boogeyman that some people actually believe that it's, that it's real and they're arming their some, themselves against it. <laughs> like, like any day now, like they think that like, uh, you know, jack pooted trans, uh, you know, uh, uh, armed, you know, leftists are gonna bust through their door, take their God and then trans them. <laughs> I mean, it's not nowhere close to the reality. You know what trans people wanna do? They wanna live. Okay, that's it. They wanna live and they wanna be themselves. That's the trans agenda. Wow, amazing, right? Uh, what, what, a, what a dangerous thing, oh my God. <laughs> um, now, of course, here's the thing. Others take advantage of this, this pathology on the right wing. They take advantage of the dupes who believe everything that the hosts on Newsmax and Fox News tell them to uh, in order to do their own takeover. Uh, people like Heritage Foundation President Kevin Roberts who more, most famously uh, said this. We are in the process of the second American revolution, which will remain bloodless if the left allows it to be. Just allow us our fascist takeover uh, without any resistance and we won't murder you. <laughs> what? Oh, but if you do resist us, by the way, um, then yes, we have more than enough corrupt loyalists and insane followers to come and crush you. Make no mistake that that should be considered a threat. It should be taken as a threat. Whether or not they can actually back that up or they believe it, I don't know. I do know that I hope we never, ever get ourselves in a situation to have to find out. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media, through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shut down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon, it's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.